I... A war between Apex Legends and Respawn? First the data miners has begun. Whose side will you pick? Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and as you know, yesterday when Season 9 launched, it was plagued by server and connection issues. Here's a quick recap. Now, with all the confusion going on at Respawn at this time, a hacker was actually able to pull out all of the Season 9 comics and the lore associated with that and go ahead and spill the beans on YouTube. And his name was Autism Gaming 420 YouTube, please don't demonetize my channel. But this caused a huge uproar on Twitter with Respawn versus Data Miners, which shouldn't even be in this video, but they're here. It's really important to know that what Autism Gaming 420 does, my channel is so screwed, is not data mining. It is cheating, it is hacking into the game files. It's completely different from what Shrugged Hall, Human SAS, Someone Who Leaks, Garrett Leaks, and formerly biased one too, and I know I'm missing a couple there, but it's completely different from what they do. Now, Tom Casilio, who is the senior writer for Respawn, took a huge offense to all these stuff that he had written along with others being leaked prematurely, which makes sense if you put a lot of your heart and your soul into a story and then it gets leaked before you're ready, that could be hugely, hugely disappointing. However, he reacted on Twitter to the whole situation and it may not have been the best way to do it. As you can see here, he says, and speaking of data miners with no lives, aren't they cute? Thinking they already read the entire comic. Like, I'd put the good sh where they can spoil it for everyone on day one? What time I? An amateur? I know the drill. And this season, I brought an army to back me up. Okay, well, first off, there's a couple things wrong. One, data miners did not leak your comic. Two, Threatening an army to back you up against data miners like you represent respawn to a certain degree and you're trying to attack members of the community So of course after a inflammatory tweet like that everyone basically started attacking the data miners and went off saying stuff And as you can see here shrug tall wasn't expecting it He basically says I don't know what this whole thing about data miners and comic spoilers is on Twitter None of the data miner accounts have posted comic leaks The only one I've seen is hacker boy on reddit who is using cheats to see them early lol So it's really an anti-cheat problem at this point also the only reason I did not do a a different voice for Shrug Tall is because he has a British accent. I cannot pull off a British accent. Hello, governor. See, not doing it. So anyways, Tom, continuing the good old Twitter crusade, goes on to say this. Not nearly as rude as hacking into a game and ruining others' enjoyments of it for fun. I make no apologies. I may be petty, but at least I'm not Tom Petty. I added that in. I don't have to resort to breaking into a game to soul well-planned surprises for others. I'm pretty sure you meant to say spoil. If you're a writer, you may want to make sure that you are using the correct grammar. So basically, the gist of it is he attacked the wrong guy, sent a community after them, and then doubled down on not apologizing. Where have I seen this before? I need a glass of water, I'll think about it later. Anyways, he goes on today to say something a little different. He says, So with tears in my eyes, many, many tears, I made the difficult decision to leave Respawn. They moved heaven and earth to keep me, but in the end, that what if won out. But if I was going out, I was going out with a bang. Now, it could be very possible, as he says in other tweets, that he just got a better job opportunity. And if so, congratulations, Tom. I hope it goes well. However, I have to say it's a little suspicious timing that the day after you go ahead and tweet all this and you have a war with the data miners, after accusing them incorrectly, you are now no longer with Respawn, but I'm just speculating in my own head there. You guys make up your own decision. I will say that I do understand where Tom is coming from, though. If you spend your career and your job writing stories for Apex Legends along with other things and then someone goes around and spoils it because they cheated and hacked into the game, I can understand that frustration. However, taking it out on the wrong group and then being a representative of Respawn is not the way to go about this whatsoever. You don't do that. For example, as a YouTuber, I can say whatever I want because I only represent myself. I can say something like, Rampart is a meta legend and she is easily S tier. That may be false, but no one else is going to be blamed for it except for me saying that. When you are a representative of Respawn working for that company, when you say things and attack other members of the community, you are a direct 
direct reflection on respawn now i will say that i am probably a little biased as i am friends with a couple of the data miners in the community and talk to them regularly and i'm sure a lot of you have differing opinions and that's totally cool there's no right or wrong there's just a personal way of thinking about the situation so let me know in the comments below and i'd love to have a dialogue with you guys about it in no way shape or form should you leave an inflammatory or derogative post tweet or message on any of the youtube or twitter's posted in this video all having differing opinions because you're most likely going to get a response of who the f is Thornton smash that's going to be it for my video today guys until next time legends keep slaying in the outlands and i'll see you out there